Hello viewer, welcome to my YouTube channel Software Testing. Today I'll show you how you can run your software automation testing using Windows Batch file. As you know, Windows Batch file used for many different purposes like process automation, like collecting data, run multiple application with single click. But today, especially I'll show you how you can use Windows Batch file for running software automation test. So let's go to the computer screen. I'll show you step by step process how, how you can run your software testing using Windows Batch file. Hello viewer, now I am at computer screen. As I mentioned today, I'll show you how you can run your Selenium automation testing using Windows Batch file. So today's topic, I set it up this way, how to create Batch file for software test run. First, we will create Selenium test script using Copilot, then we'll verify script, then create test jar file then create batch file then we will execute batch file as you know batch file is needed for many different purpose so today we will use for the software testing purpose so in order to do that first uh, we will use the application rahulshetiacademy.com automation practice first script we will select the radio button then we will select the drop down that's for today's script so in order to do that we we will open any browser then we will go to bing.com as we will create our test script using copilot once you are in bing.com you will see there is copilot over here in the like a taskbar and also copilot in the right side of the search box you can click anywhere once you click over here copilot your everyday ai companion then here is the ask me anything you can write your prompt over here and copilot will give you the answer so as per today's tutorial i set it up this way script first script as i mentioned it will uh, select the radio button then it will drop down select so let me copy the script from here and we'll paste it in the copilot so let me paste over here after pasting we can hit enter from keyboard or you can submit from here submit then copilot will analyze this script and thereafter it will start writing writing the script it will not take that much time first it will analyze it takes little time thereafter once it is start writing it will not take even a minute less than a minute it will complete our test script you see how fast it is going on after analyzing it is very fast so first script done then second script it is writing and it is done you see that it did not even take a minute once it is created then we'll work for the first script first let me copy the test class name as ai written then we need to go to the eclipse once you are in eclipse first you need to create file new project project means java project if it is not in there you can go other than create java project click project you see java project then click next you need to write your project name let's say my project name is selenium batch batch run so you can enter any name over here i am doing selenium batch run then click finish we don't need module do not create so once it is done you can expand that here is a red mark so once your project is created then you need to go to the project right click then go properties then you need to add library so whatever there is system library uh, java ac10 remove that so select the class path then add library then jerry system library select then click next workspace default jerry jdk21 that finish so jdk imported then select again class path then add library then select junit then click next junit5 then click finish now we need to add selenium jar select the class path add external jar then you need to select all of those then open also you need to select class path again add external jar we have more jar file for selenium you need to select that's though so basically selenium jar file you will get it from selenium official website then you can download if you do the maven 
project then it will not add like this way maven will take care for the jar file then click apply and close you see red mark is gone all library added so select source folder right click then new you need to create a package click package package name you can enter anything i am doing com dot test so then click finish once package is created right click in the package then new you can directly go from here or other than java class click class over here enter your class name the way ai written then click finish once class is created delete everything except package because we will take it from ai so let's go to the ai and copy the first script from here copy then paste it in eclipse you see there is no red mark that means whatever ai written this exactly correct only thing we can we will add two thing over here so after opening application we need to maximize the browser in order to do that driver dot manage dot window dot maximize it will maximize the browser with the application so that you can view clearly thereafter once the radio button is selected clicked then we can add a wait time thread dot sleep like a 5000 millisecond it will wait five seconds so that we can watch clearly radio button clicked so here is red mark add throws declaration red mark will be gone so first script is done then save it go for the second script take the class name from here similar way drop down example go to eclipse then select the package right click new class so here is the class name is the same way the first one we created click finish once it is done delete those thing and copy from ai copy that and paste it in eclipse it is same thing it is okay only we need to maximize the browser driver dot manage dot window dot maximize so that window will maximize you can see clearly thereafter after selecting the drop down we will just add a thread dot sleep that means wait time 5000 millisecond so that it will wait five second we can see clearly so add throws declaration red mark will be gone save it so before run let me close the browser because we will run the test with the s browser so that it will not interact so then right click first script run as java application we are verifying that script that it is working or not you see test is running um, microsoft s browser open maximize it expected application rahulshetiacademy.com open and it will select the radio button it will wait five seconds then it will close the browser so it close and also in the console message exactly what we are looking for that means the script is passed if you see the unit over here it, there is no failure it is passed console message so now go to the drop down example it is the same way right click run as java application so it is running same way browser open and it will maximize then it will navigate to rahulshetiacademy.com then it will select the drop down value you see the drop down value is selected then it will close the browser also it has been printed the message as expected that means both script working as expected now in order to do the best run you need to create a jar file from here so select the project let me it is fine it is open let me select the project then right click then you need to export export you need to export as a java runnable jar file then click next once you click next 
you see drop down example our name drop down example 3 and also we can do selenium batch run let me whatever our project name i am putting the name as it is you can enter any name over here then click finish it is okay then it is start creating the best file it is almost done and it is done okay for that okay now let me get out from the eclipse we are not doing anything with the eclipse now let me go to the location we need to verify the jar desktop test workspace here is our jar file so in order to create a bash file let me open notepad file notepad file first thing we need to navigate in this location in order to perform anything over here so let me copy that path over here so then first command is cd means change directory we are instructing cd change directory to here test workspace thereafter we need to run this jar file so the command is java space hyphen cp then you need to enter your jar name so let me copy the jar name from here so that it there will be no mistake copy and then paste it over here then we need to do the com dot test package name dot your class name let me copy the class name from eclipse first class is the drop down example copy from here and paste it over here so first script is done thereafter we need to do the same thing let me copy the whole thing and paste it over here so that means this thing only we need to change the class name this one is the drop down example drop down example remain everything will be the same and also another thing we can do we can do the uh, little wait time in between to test run that command is time out slash t let's say five second we can wait thereafter run the second script our best file script is ready now we need to save file save as we need to do the same location you need to select all file thereafter selenium test dot bat bash file extension is bad it is most important in order to create a bash file so you need to mention dot bat after the file name so that system will understand this is bash file so then click save you see if you go to the location you see there is a selenium test dot bat is created now if we double click over here it will automatically run your both two script you don't even need to go for eclipse so double click over here it is a start running you see first script is running so it already opened the application it will maximize the browser and it will select the radio button all already selected radio button it will close that then it will wait five seconds you see in the console it is successfully then it is waiting five seconds it is gone then it is running in the next script it is running you see application open it will select the drop down value you see drop down value is selected now it will open wait five seconds then it will close the browser both script is run and it is run is completed in that way you can create your best file run your any test so basically there are many reasons you need to create a best file if you want to uh, casual your test you can create a best file then you can create this best file you can run anytime whatever time you will set it up also if you have multiple script like 10 script 15 script within that you don't need to run any one script you can comment out that so in order to do that first thing let's say 
last script second script we don't need to run before that script you just mention rem it will ignore this test if you save it let's see save it then double click on the bat file let's see how it goes it is running first script browser open as it is rahulshetiacademy.com then it will maximize the browser so browser you see radio button selected then it will close the browser and test will be ended up you see test ended up it is not navigating for the next test it is just waiting five seconds then it is closed in that way you can control your test run from bash file so that's for today's tutorial i believe those who are new in software automation testing as well as windows bash file this video will be very helpful for themselves if you think this is helpful please like my video subscribe my channel and share it to others also if you have any question about software automation testing as well as windows bash file please make a comment i'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you for watching this video